Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, and staying safe, of course. I have a gentleman with me, and he's a First World War soldier, and his name is George. Um, right, okay. He, he says he was in a Powell's regiment um, called the Bradford Powell's. And he, um, they were originally formed to go to the Somme. He is only a young chap. He is uh, 17. Okay. He says I joined at 16. Okay. Um. Right, okay, uh, right. Oh, I've got him now, I've got it. Um, he, he, he joined at 16 years old and he ended up um, going into the world of spirit when he was 17. He was in the regiment called the Bradford Pals. He tells me he was in a place called Yeeps or Ypres. Um, originally was supposed to go to the Somme and they didn't and they went to uh, Ypres region he says it was summertime he says and we, we had a, he says it was a lovely time going there he says oh we're all singing and dancing and cheering he says and they're all parading in the streets and you know he says we've got money we've got a lovely uniform he says and um, it was summertime so when they went it was lovely and sunny and all that sort of stuff. But as the year went out, he um, winter started setting in. They didn't have any overcoats. They had one blanket. And, um, right, this is rations started running out because they were cut off. And, um, he was near the French and they, they'd got no, right, okay, they'd got no um, rations, their rations had run out. Right. And they, 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 they were already dug out and things and trenches and things already dug in shelters. And he says, you're, you're up to your calves in um, water and mud when it rained it rained in august this is and it didn't stop raining until nearly december and right okay right okay it went to the world of spirit in december the 19th and he he um He's still there. He's still in the area where they had to go over the top. And um, he lost his life, unfortunately. But he says a lot of others did as well. He used to write to his girlfriend, Betty. And uh, uh, what's her name? A lady called Betty. Betty Finch, and she was a, a mill worker, and he he, um, he was saying that he, he were hoping he'd be back in time for Christmas, and they, they told him that he'd be back in time for Christmas, as he hadn't had any leave, and unfortunately, he, he, he didn't get there, and um, he is still there where he fell and uh, well he says it didn't it didn't hurt he says it, it didn't hurt at all he says I, I can't believe it he says it, it didn't hurt and um, it was instant when he lost his life bless him but anyway he says um, I, I got up he says I, I, I stood there he says nothing was touching me 
he says, no, I couldn't understand what it was about, but he says that, you know, he just couldn't understand why nothing was hitting him. And he'd already gone to the world of spirit. So he, he went and um, they made him better and everything, but um, he's still laying in, in the area that he fell. So anyway, he, he said that the trenches were miserable, the very, very smelly. Um, they'd got no food. And he said that they had to result into eating rats. And that's a bit grim. <laughs> and they only had one blanket. And he says he was shivering most of the time. And they used to huddle up together because it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. And he says the the guns never stopped he says it would just bang 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 all the time he says day and night he says you just learnt to blot it out he says and it, it would just always constantly constantly rattling machine guns and um mortars and cannons and things like this he says it was just relentless and in the end, their time came. He says they were sat around doing nothing, looking through periscopes and uh, trying to gain an advantage. He says nothing had happened. And then one day, right lads, come on. They wrote the letters, they smoked the last cigarettes and pipes and things and chocolate that they'd had uh, given. And they went, he says that we, we, we got some, uh, some brandy. We got a glass of brandy. He says, and we were we had to go over the top. He says, and the officer blew his whistle, and they went up the ladder, straight across. He says, and I just can't remember what happened next. He says, I stood up. He says, I was on the floor. He says, the next thing I just stood up. He says, and it's, it changed, and that's why it changed. Okay. Anyway, he says, thank you for listening to my story. He says, because, oh, bless you. He says, I've been, I've been looking around, around for one of these medium chaps. He says, to tell my story. And uh, because he's ex-soldier, I thought, he, he, he'll do. And that's why he came to me. Anyway, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, bless you. He says that he's... he's Okay, he's with Betty, so she, uh, him and her, when she went into the world of spirit, they hooked up together, they met up, and they've been with each other ever since. But he's still 17 years old in, in his uniform and everything. And um, he's very proud, very proud to have served. And bless you, thank you. And... Uh, on that note, he's, he's going with Betty now, and um, I'd like to stop there. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope you like this one, as soon as you obviously like the other ones, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye for now. Thanks.